th almost 30 years ago. You know, we set up the International Islamic University, economics, uh, later on, of course, uh, medical. You know, we had, uh, I invited uh, one scholar, Abu Hamid Abu Sulaiman, to be rector, and uh, we rebuilt that as the premier institution in the region. But we found out that some countries, we had difficulty. We had difficulty to bring Chinese students from China and students from Turkey. I, was, I said, I was amazed. Why? They want to study economics. No, but it's Islamic University. Uh, so I had then to take a lot of efforts. You know, sometimes people say uh, secularist is liberal. No. Secularists can be illiberal. You, you, they can only agree with you if you are secular. But you are truly liberal. Like me, I work. In my team, they are secularists. In my party, of course Muslim-led, but they were Christians. Hindus, Buddhists, enemies, were secular. The most remote area in Malaysia is called Puncak Borneo in Sarawak. Majority of whom were are enemies and uh, dayas of the tribal faction. And they voted for us. And they won. So I think uh, this sort of uh, inclusiveness is important. And, and, and But some of them are secular. I said, okay. But they tolerate us as we tolerate them. I said, I will not agree any Islamic uh, institutions or uh, law that will impose on the rights of non-Muslims. No, I disagree. And if any ambiguity you want to um, uh, apply aspects of the Sharia that will affect the position of non-Muslims, the non-Muslims must have a right to negotiate, discuss and debate. I mean, that principle is there. But you know, some of the hardline secularists are so illiberal, they reject me because, no, oh, he's a Muslim. But I think this is absurd. And this is also the debate here, and also in Pakistan. I mean, of course, there are Muslims who are illiberal. There are so called Islamists who think you don't have a beard, you don't qualify to be a leader. See? So the Islam is in the beard. <laughs> Which, is, to my mind, is amazing. But what is important is the tolerance. That time I learned the intolerance here is unspeakable. I mean, students wanted to study. And you say, no, because they happen to be, uh, they are not sure that this may be an indoctrination of Islam. You, see? you can go to America and indoctrinate the liberal ideas, it's okay. You can study even in Moscow, indoctrinate with communism, it's okay. But not with Islam. This illiberalism is not fair, not right. If students will study in Russia, they can. I don't have any inhibition with that. But if they are Muslims, I would say, look, better have understanding with Islam, better proper salat and respect uh, the rights of others and value the importance of religion. But I, my experience, thank you, brother, for remember, remembering me, because I remember that I was, and that actually disturbs me a lot. I mean, okay, you can fight with the Islamic party, whatever. This is an internal by domestic battle. But you can't stop people from studying. I don't want to exaggerate. I played a small role in this. There are many others who did. But I want to tell you this. The battle is not only against the extremists, Islamists. The battle is also against Islamophobia. And Islamophobia is not only a problem in the capitals of the West, but also among Muslim elites in Muslim societies. I can say this based on my experience, even to allow students from Turkey to study was a major problem. And when they come back, no one were prepared to even recognize them. Is in English, the quality of education at that time at least was respectable, acceptable to the West, the best institutions in the West will accept. They even have a working knowledge of Arabic. But here, they're completely denied of their right. So I think it's not only a question of an experience that we had in Malaysia, but the matter of attitude. 
so illiberal. I mean, I, again, I mean, I might say in, in the party, we have non, not only non-Muslims, but I said, uh, like uh, what you have here, there are Muslim candidates we have, who have scarf or no scarf, I can encourage, but it's their decision. I don't, I don't think we should compel uh, people to accept your way of thinking to the extreme. So that position is very important. I have, I'm sorry, I have very strong views against so-called liberals who are very illiberal in their thinking. The, the liberals must only conform to certain ideas. Certainly this goes against the strain of liberalism that I studied in Western philosophy.